When we talk about the development of disk, Empodocles, in 444 BC, talked about these four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. And basically, he was recognizing that people were different and that they acted in these four different styles. So he surmised that the environment affects the way they behave. It was these external elements that had an influence on how people acted. It wasn't until 400 BC that Hippocrates said, yeah, okay, I still recognize these four styles, but it's something internal. It's the fluids that run within a person. And you probably are still familiar with these terms, choleric, sanguine, phlegmatic, and melancholy. Maybe if some of you have heard that. But anyhow, again, recognize that there are four styles here that Hippocrates looked at. And it wasn't until Carl Jung, in about 1921, said, okay, you know what, let's move this. Make, let's make this a little bit more cerebral. There are people who are thinking, feeling, who sense and who use their intuition. So we're starting now to understand now it's a thought process, now it's a behavioral process. And it wasn't until William Marston published his work in 1926 that we start to use the phrase DISC, dominant influencing steadiness and compliance. And those are all great things, but the only thing I really want you to get out of this is that historically people have looked at these four different ways that people act, okay? And we are all a blend of those styles. How many of you believe that you can be one way at, at work and then be a totally, totally different way at home? Right. So we believe that environment will impact your personality style. There's contributing factors to behavioral style, and one is heredity. God hardwired you in a way with your personality style. And that's one factor of what makes up who you are. The second is role models. When somebody teaches you or rewards you for behaviors, our house is very communicative. And so when our, our kids learn to, uh, to talk at an early age, we reward that because we ooh and awe over them. We have role models that will start to establish our behavior or our personality style. And then experiences, especially traumatic experiences. And so as you continue to grow and develop, if you are a child of divorce, that's going to impact your personality style. These experiences, especially in developmental years, can have a dramatic impact on your personality style.